All right, folks, thank you for coming to this e micro course as part of ProGoldTrader.com. So let's go and get started discussing prices. There are a few reasons why spot prices and futures prices are different in gold. Cost of carry. The cost of carry is the sum of all costs associated with storing and delivering a commodity. This includes the cost of insurance, storage, and interest. The cost of carry is typically higher for futures contracts with a longer delivery date. As a result, futures prices for gold with a longer delivery date are typically higher than spot prices. Another key factor is supply and demand. The spot price of gold is determined by the supply and demand for gold in the immediate market. The futures price of gold is determined by the expected supply and demand for gold at the delivery date of the contract. If investors expect that gold will be more scarce in the future, they will be willing to pay a higher price for futures contracts with longer delivery dates. Speculation. Speculators play an important role in the gold market. They buy and sell gold futures contracts in the hope of making a profit. Speculators may buy futures contracts if they believe that the price of gold will go up in the future. Adversely, they may sell futures contracts if they believe that the price of gold will go down in the future. Shorting. Speculative activity can also contribute to the differences between spot and futures prices. In general, the spot price of gold is typically slightly lower than the futures price of gold. This is because investors are willing to pay a premium for the certainty of being able to buy or sell gold at a specific price in the future. Here is an example of how the cost of carry can affect the spot or the spot and futures prices of gold. The spot price of gold is 19.45 per troy ounce. The futures price of gold for delivery in one month is $1,948 per troy ounce. The difference between the spot price and the futures price of gold is $3 per troy ounce. The $3 difference is approximately equal to the cost of storing and delivering gold for that one month. Investors who believe that the price of gold will go up in the next month may be willing to pay a premium of $3 per troy ounce to buy a futures contract with a delivery date in one month. This is because they think or they will be able to sell it at a higher price within or at that one month mark. Hope this makes sense for all of you. Let's get to our next slide. All right, let's go ahead and talk <clears throat> about the example prices. What I'm trying to demonstrate here is the spot price, what is the immediate delivery, and you can see on this slide we've got 1945. However, there's a caveat. Um, that is usually the midway point for the spot dealers. There's usually an added premium uh, on those bars. So for instance, it's the halfway point, the 1945. So typically, uh, like in the spot market, they charge between one, one and a half percent. And these are on the spot storage accounts. So you're really buying it at 1960 and then you're going to sell it back at 1930. So you're losing about $30, approximately uh, $30 uh, per trade, which is astronomical. But the point of this is to also demonstrate that we go in the future, the price will tend to inch up more and more. And then they'll eventually converge. That spot price will converge. And we'll do another slide on that in the future. Or here in a second. But effectively, you've got spot 1945. You've got the November contract at 1943.8. Then you got Dees coming at 1957. That is the liquid month we are trading off right now. Uh, February is 1977. And then April is 1992. So you can see they do have expectations for basically uh, April to be at 1992. And that's also baked in those um, storage uh, interest and insurance uh, costs as well but this just gives you a good idea of 
you know, going out into the futures, the futures price. Now, the caveat I will say is in the spot market, it's a little confusing and they make it confusing for you guys because it's not advantageous to be in the spot market with a $30 spread. So, for instance, in the futures markets, you can get spreads as low as, you know, 10 cents, um, 20 cents, 30 cents. It's ridiculous the savings that you get. Uh, with the futures market. It is absolutely astounding, to be honest with you. Uh, but in saying that, um, you know, I think people focused on that spot price and they think they're getting a good deal, but really uh, they're not when you actually break the actual transaction down and you cross compare it with a futures contract. It is literally night and day. Let's get on to our next slide. All right, let's go and talk about Contango. And I will tell you, in the financial world, we use lots of confusing words that you will have to learn. And uh, over time, you're not going to get it all at once. But just, you know, if you want to become a professional and you really want to learn these markets inside out and backwards and look at the cost savings and how to do this the right way versus the spot way. But let's go ahead and talk about Contango. Uh, right now, you've got the spot price. And these are just example prices. This isn't right now, actually. These are just examples. 1945 on the spot and then if you go out to D's contract you got what 1957 so that is effectively in contango when the futures price is higher than the spot price all right here's another big word backwardization so effectively backwardization is where the demand at the very immediate or in the physical market is higher than in the futures market. And it can happen from time to time, not too often. And it can happen with any uh, commodity where the immediate delivery uh, is in higher demand and the market will go into backwardization. Let me give you a case in point. Spot price right here is 1945. We go out one month to the November contract, 1943.8. Now I will say this is just an example uh, that is not, uh, that isn't its delivery mechanism right now, but effectively that futures price, the November delivery uh, is lower than the spot price. And that's where the market goes into backwardization. All right, this is a really uh, important concept that all of you gold bugs out there should learn. And that is how the spot price will converge to the futures price. Spot price and futures prices convergence is the process by which the spot price of a commodity and the future price of the same commodity converge as the delivery date of the futures contract approaches. The spot price of a commodity is the price at which the commodity can be bought or sold immediately. The futures price of a commodity is the price at which the commodity is agreed to be bought or sold at a specific date in the future. There are a few reasons why spot and futures prices converge. This is a big one. Arbitrage. Arbitrage is the, is the process of buying an asset in one market and selling it in another market at a higher price. Arbitragers play an important role in the futures market. They buy and sell futures contracts to exploit any price discrepancies between the spot and the futures prices. If the spot price of a commodity is higher than the futures price of the commodity, arbitragers will buy the commodity in the spot market and sell it in the futures market. This will increase the demand for the commodity in the spot market and decrease the demand for the commodity in the futures market. This will cause the spot price to fall and futures prices to rise. Arbitragers will continue to buy and sell futures contracts until the spot and futures prices converge. Spot price and futures price convergence is an important concept in the futures market. It helps to ensure that the futures markets is fair and efficient. It also helps to reduce the risk for investors who trade in the futures markets. All right, the spot and futures convergence is so important. I did two slides on this. So in this uh, example, you can see on the screen here, you've got a spot price of 1945. And then you've got the D's contract at 1957. 
So over time, so as we get closer to December and that contract expires, that spot price, that 1945 to 1957 will become one and the same, okay? And how that works is as we go on in time, right now you got a $12 Contango, save two weeks from now. That Contango uh, will shrink up a little bit by maybe two or three dollars. And as we continue to march down in time and we get to that expiration date in December, um, they will converge into the same price. And that's effectively a convergence. So I know a lot of you get uh, hung up on the price. Um, you know, you think you're getting it cheaper. You think you're getting a better deal. And the reality is you're not in anything in spot because of the spreads. Um, the bid ass spreads are absolutely, like I said before, um, terrible on you guys. But in saying that, um, they will become, you know, one in the same uh, as we continue on in time. So I hope you understand what convergence is now. All right, last slide. We're going to wrap this up. What is the future's advantage? And I would say the biggest is the value proposition versus the spot, including the ETFs. Uh, and that's why I always say, you know, in my opinion, um, the futures market's kind of like the wholesale market uh, when it comes to investing and trading uh, in precious metals. And that is to do that with the spreads, the cost effective slow, uh, low spreads. The other uh, huge thing is the uh, centralized regulated exchange, kind of makes it more uh, level playing field. Uh, the, the access to leverage is huge. Uh, you can use leverage uh, to any degree that you want. So if your convictions are really high uh, with precious metals going higher, you know, instead of putting up, say, $50,000, you can put up just $25,000 uh, and still control $50,000 worth of metal. And so you would definitely have more uh, exposure. Now, with that comes more risk. You know, you're multiplying your risk factor uh, as well. Uh, by using leverage, or you can use no leverage at all. Um, you can just go full, fully paid and go that route as well, but you have the options. Uh, the other one is you can buy and sell at night. You know, I'm pretty shocked that anyone would offer a trading platform, including the ETFs, when it trades uh, all through the night. Let's say hypothetically on a Sunday night, gold drops three or 4%. Um, if you're trading a spot trading account, uh, most of those guys, you're locked out. You you can't trade uh, at night, including the ETF. I, I feel like it should be almost uh, illegal uh, to offer a product and not be able to trade it all through the night. The other big thing, risk management tools. Uh, you have options as well. You can go long and short. Um, so you can definitely have a lot more flexibility uh, to move around in the futures market and adjust your positions because as we as we know, as time goes on, the economic reports and the narrative can change very, very quickly. The other big thing is the licensed uh, professional uh, licensed brokers with the NFA and CFTC. Uh, with that comes a lot of consumer protection uh, mechanisms uh, for you guys that you are really unaware of. And that is huge uh, in my opinion. So those are the advantages, or I say the futures uh, advantage. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or go ahead and uh, go to progoldtrader.com and request a demo and start practicing today. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.